Hey everyone, Asa here, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to implement Optimizely in the Astronaut application you saw earlier. So first step, open up a browser and navigate to the URL optimize.ly slash astronaut gist. That's the set of instructions I will use during this video. I'll zoom in here so you can pause the video and see the URL. Once you navigate there, you'll see the set of instructions for implementing Optimizely. There are prerequisites of creating an Optimizely account. Uh, I've already done this and I'll assume you can do that on your own, so feel free to follow the instructions there. Once you've created our Optimizely account, the next step is to navigate to the code pen and follow the instructions. And so I'll right click and open in a new tab to open the astronaut demo in the code pen. When we go to the code pen, you'll see that most of the astronaut demo is there. We just have to install Optimizely in some key steps. So going back to the set of instructions, the first step is to copy and paste this chunk of code into the lines right here. And what this will do is create an instance of Optimizely that instance of Optimizely will connect to our Optimizely UI via the SDK key. Let's see how to get that SDK key right now. So I'm going to navigate over to my Optimizely project, go to settings, and in settings you'll see an SDK key for, I'm going to use the development environment, and you can use any environment as long as you keep track of which one you use. So I'll copy and paste that SDK key and paste it right here. And great. These other uh, configurations just say anytime the feature changes in the UI to auto update at an interval of 1000 milliseconds or one second. In production applications, this would be much higher, like maybe five minutes. But for now, let's leave that. The next step is to copy and paste these chunks of code to implement the feature flag. So we'll copy and paste that, drop it in here, and we'll see that we use the function isFeatureEnabled given astronaut feature, and we provide a sort of a test user at user123. Now, even though enabled is used down here in the code, we can see that the astronaut's not showing up and that's because we haven't created the astronaut in our UI. So the first step is to go to our Optimize the UI, go to Features, create a new feature, give it the name Astronaut Feature. And this is important because it has to match the string that is in the code here. So this has to be the same so we can copy and paste this just to be safe we didn't make any typos looks like we didn't and then we chose the SDK key for development environment so we just want to turn that feature on for our development environment and now we can finally create our feature and if all went well we should see our astronaut appear in our application live nice all right and with those quick set of instructions you've seen some of the important steps of creating an optimizely instance and using that Optimizely instance for a feature flag, we can show that it's still working by going to the Optimizely UI, clicking on our feature and turning that feature off, saving it, and now we'll see the astronaut disappear. Great, hope you enjoyed this video, thanks.